All right, fellas, how's it going? So once uh, the, the update videos on my Cold Steel Walking Stick collection do continue. This time I'm moving on to uh, my personal favorite three, the polypropylene uh, editions. Uh, right now, this video is going to be on the uh, Cold Steel African Walking Stick, modeled up a Nob Curry with, uh, I guess, a lot more, uh, I guess it's an Americanized Nob Curry. Uh, let me just get up here real quick for those of you who uh, I guess want to maybe this is the first time you see a video on this uh, this knob is it's traditionally round it almost looks like a um, like a doorknob or I like I yeah I guess like a doorknob or something so no wait actually more like a cue ball would be like a more accurate uh, description of uh, the regular knob this one's been modified I'm guessing uh for gripping purposes, it's got uh, pentagons and hexagons all over. It almost looks like something that like a wizard would carry. <laughs> uh, the uh, the shaft is it's got these um, these ridges and as you can hear, it's got a textured grip. Um, it uh, it's one of those dual purpose sticks. It uh, obviously it is a uh, a cane if need be, but um, also if need be, this is for all intents and purposes designed to be a weapon. And in Africa, this is a uh, you know this is something that like a warrior actually uses as a weapon. It's uh, they got their own little martial art with this particular type of weapon. Uh, I, I the name escapes me. I don't know why I did this. I decided to do these videos so late at night. <laughs> but um, moving forward, uh, I know that this is one of the sticks that I got a lot of uh, comments about. Ah, oh, dude, it's all you have. There's a nifty little thing called a saw, and you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, because it is high up on me. It should be like around right here, but it's not. And uh, interesting little story is that I uh, actually did take. Uh, you all's advice, but this is one of the few sticks I could in fact do that with. What I did was, uh, I know I sound like a broken record mentioning this in all of my update videos, but I was uh, concerned that I would not cut the bottom right. And, uh, you know, um, I decided to get bold. And what I did was I actually ordered a second, uh, a second stick in addition to this one. So that if worst case scenario, I did uh, try and cut it down and I messed it up, I still have, uh, you know, the regular stick and I know to not, uh, I guess, attempt to saw them down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down for just a second real quick and I'm going to get uh, the modified version. First, I'm going to stand them up next to each other so you can see how, uh, you know, they, you know, there's obviously a size difference. <clears throat> And, uh, hold on a second. So we got the, uh, the factory, uh, the regular, I guess the unmodified factory finished uh, stick right here in the front with the black tip. This part right here, I went ahead and I cut off. The result was, uh, you know, me having to use the one and one fourth tips those become useless once you decide to make that modification. I wish I remembered uh, I, uh, these uh, the size here, but um, you know, they didn't have any in black. I had to get one in gray. Don't particularly like it. Hold on a second. There we go. It looks like it's coming off. But um, this is one of the few sticks that is, uh, you know, that is uh, where it needs to be. The, the overall shape of the shaft towards the bottom makes it impossible to really cut too much. But this is a, a significant improvement for me, at least compared to, uh, you know, the regular one. I think with this, I took off like about two inches and uh, it's just a little more comfortable. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was, uh, this is one of the first sticks that uh, I did that with. There was a, a time when I was uh, basically going to try and buy uh, 
I guess uh, second, you know, I was gonna do this with all of my uh, cold steel walking sticks. I was gonna buy spares and see if I could properly cut them. Uh, so that if worst case scenario, if I did it wrong, I'd still have the, uh, you know, a factory finished uh, addition. But around that time, my legs started to get better, and uh, it was, for lack of better terms, unaffordable. I mean, some of these sticks are pretty expensive. Uh, so this ended up being one of the only ones that I modified and kept a modified version of. Um, great stick altogether. It's a great weapon. It's a great walking aid. No one ever gives it really much of a second look. Uh, I haven't used this in a while, but if... Uh, you know this this stick obviously just a regular old saw you know just take off like two or three inches it'll do but one thing I do want to let everyone know uh, in case maybe uh, you all are thinking of doing the same thing is um, the the sh the whole shaft is like towards the bottom it's it's just oddly shaped it's gonna make it difficult for you guys to get a, a good um, rubber tip and it's going to be a little difficult to put on there. I mean, this one, you can kind of tell, like I had to, when you look at like the outline, see if I could get in close enough here. When you look at like the outline and just how it all looks like just, it was very difficult to shove it on there and I couldn't find any other, uh, any other tips that were the right size for this. This was, uh, I think the best I could do, um, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up on that. Because um, I don't want to hear anyone uh, tend to do the same thing and then mess up and then blame me. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is an update video. Let me get both of these things here. <laughs> That's so funny. I just, I'm glad I didn't, uh, I didn't decide to do this with all of my sticks. But I just put this one over here. Uh, that one that I just threw, I actually did use it as an actual walking aid. You know, I mean, it was obviously short enough. As for this one, the original uh, stick, once again, I use this uh, for little drills, workout, freestyling, stuff like that. I am going to do freestyling videos somewhere down the line. Maybe when it uh, gets a little cooler right now, it's summer and, well, summer in Texas, uh, not the best way, not the, it's it's not fun to be outside if you don't have to, and I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to do freestyling videos outside, and at the moment it's just, for lack of better terms, too fucking hot. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess that's just all I gotta say about that. Questions or comments, you all do know the drill. Peace out, fellas.